What is up, YouTube Knife Community? Back again. Today we're going to talk talk about some mods, of course. Uh, first up, if you want to hit me up, this is how you get in touch with me. Instagram and email are the two easiest ways to contact me. Uh, so, um, all three of these knives that we're looking at today uh, belong to a guy named Mike. Uh, yeah, he's been a he's been a great customer. I've done several knives for him, and uh, yeah, enjoy working with him. So first up, we're going to take a look at a stock standard. This is not his knife. This is a another one I'm getting ready to work on. We're going to take a look at a stock standard uh, Kaiser Sheepdog XL for comparison. Uh, there's that one. And here's uh, Mike's that I did for him. We did this uh, Sheep's Foot Warren Cliff type uh, blade on it. And I took the hump out of the handle right here. As you can see, I'll lay it down here. Maybe we can get a good shot of it. So, uh, yeah, took this big hump out. If you look at the uh, the milling in the G10, you can see how much I took off there. I left just enough to where I could get that chamfer on. And this thing feels a lot better in the hand without that hump. Uh, you know, I, I've, I always uh, grab these and felt of them and they do feel a little off in, in the hand, uh, but I never thought about cutting that hump off um, until Mike asked me to do this for him. So uh, we also minimized the flipper tab uh, quite a bit. You can see here, that we did that to the flipper tab and in turn that gave us room to add a chul without completely del deleting the flipper. Feels a lot better, love it. Acid wash the blade and the liners you can see there this knife came out very good love it and i did some uh some beveling on the spine uh i'll show you why i did that see here uh this uh shit the swedge that rolls right right through here the way i uh cut off the spine of this one I left just a little bit of that, so what I did was blended everything in with bevels. As you can see here, I put that little bevel on there, blended into the end of this, and then took another little small bevel all the way out the rest of the blade. As you can see there, it's hard to see with the acid wash on it, but it's there. And then uh, mirror edge, that is screaming sharp. Uh, Kaiser's 154CM sharpens very, very good. Love that, love it. All right, next up, we'll take a look at, um, these next two are from probably my favorite collaborator with Spyderco, uh, and it's Gail Bradley, and for multiple reasons, uh, but for the main reason is it seems like he always uses, uh, or uses M4 a lot in his collaborations. Uh, <laughs> M4 is definitely one of my favorite steels. So first up is this GB2, and at first glance, you're like, what? I don't see nothing. What'd you do? So what I did was completely deleted the shadow boxing all the way around the scales. As you can see, no more shadow boxing except for where it matters, right at the lock bar access. As you can see there, plenty of lock bar access now. Uh, yeah, this knife came to me with just a little bit of a uh, lock stick. Most of that's gone. You can still just sort of feel it. But uh, yeah, it's so much better than it was that you have no idea how much that makes a difference in hand that's deleting that shadow box it feels so much better um absolutely love it uh yeah super nice uh knife love that gb2 and these uh these scales are sharp dress knife scales and they look smoking hot on this uh one thing about sharp dress knives is they use some very 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 quality material to make their scales and they are always super nice, super nice skills. So there is the GB2. Next up, we're going to take a look at another Gail Bradley designed Spider Co. And that happens to be the Advocate. And here it is. We did the uh, Lightning Strike Anno on the Titanium. And we'll try this again. I always try it and it still don't work, but we're going to try it again. Uh, so uh, there's the lightning strike anno. So hard to see, so hard to show off. There's a good shot, I guess. There'll be pictures on my Instagram. 
But what really shines on this knife is the blade. Like, I don't know what the difference is. Sometimes the blades come out so much nicer than others, but uh, the acid wash on this blade, <laughs> I, I mean, I freaking absolutely love it. You can still see all the grind lines. It's just, it's fucking smoking hot on the acid wash on this one. I put him, ooh, I just cut myself. Nice. Okay, so I put him a, uh, a smoking mirror or uh working edge on this one thousand or yeah a thousand grit edge came out very nice sorry guys i've cut my finger here but uh the uh i i mean i love this freaking knife it came out smoking hot um i'll take a look at the other side real quick but yeah there she is loving it loving it loving it um the elephant in the room is I know you, every one of you guys watching this video noticed that there's no clips. Uh, yeah, Mike just doesn't like clips. They're, it ruins the ergos for him, so he usually takes them off. Uh, I think I've, I can't remember, I think I've done six or seven knives for him now, and every one except for, I think, maybe a hinder had uh, had the pocket clips removed. He just doesn't like the pocket clips. And I don't blame him. Uh, it does ruin ergos, but uh, for me, I gotta have them to carry them. But uh, yeah, I don't blame him. But yeah, man, this this is definitely definitely a nice knife. I took off the uh, the orange peel texture and uh, polished it up real nice and did the anno. Yeah, I'm proud of this one. It came out smoking hot. I think he'll enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's all I've got. I just wanted to show you off real quick so I can get them shipped out to Mike. Um, thank you so much for watching. Mike, buddy, thanks for the business. Uh, I always appreciate it. You're always a pleasure to deal with. And uh, one more time, if you want to reach me, that's how you do it right there. Uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.